My pockets on my skirts are bigger than my pockets on my jeans. Maybe this is why I don't have a casual wardrobe. share with you my spring wardrobe update. Now, saying that's a spring wardrobe update is kind of... Okay, I haven't updated my wardrobe in like a year and a half, and I finally decided to splurge and buy stuff, and I might have slightly went overboard. It's okay. My wardrobe currently consists of a lot of things that I just don't wear anymore. It's something I used to wear all the time a few years ago, and now it's just kind of sitting in there because it hasn't been replaced. So this is what this is actually meant to do, is to replace this. Also, I do not own a casual wardrobe, and this is a problem because I'm always overdressed for everything. Not that I really mind, but I am. So I tried to like casual it down a little. Once you see what I got, you'll notice it didn't really work. But anyways, this is what I've been getting lately, and let's start off with some tops. First tops I have I picked up at Nordstrom Rack, and this one is from a brand called Philosophy Republic Clothing. It's this really cute dark blue sweater with this adorable little zip detail on the back. This has looked really nicely. I've tried it tucked in, I've had it out, I've had it with multiple different bottoms, and as long as it's not navy as well, it looks really cute. The next top is from Nordstrom Rack, and it is by Topshop, and it's my I Want to Be a Dalmatian shirt, and I love this shirt. I, I know it's out there, I really don't care. It has a cute diagonal ruffle that goes over the shoulder, this shoulder has a ruffle, and then the back detailing is just this little bit of red. It's a very thin material, so even though it is long sleeve, I think you can wear this through summer. I think it'll look really cute with just jeans, with black bottoms, with colored bottoms. I think this is more versatile than most people would think, and I really freaking want to be a Dalmatian. And this makes me happy. Also, from the top shop section of Nordstrom, oh, that took me like 10 tries, there is this sweater, and it's just a really plain, semi-cropped, camel-colored sweater, and I couldn't be more smitten with this. This is a staple Kathy wardrobe kind of shirt. It has a semi-bat wing. It's such a simple design, yet it can match anything. Next is a top from J. Crew Factory. Now, this is my first item from J. Crew Factory. Um, I didn't, okay, I went a little overboard. It's okay, I needed it. I like my wardrobe again. <laughs> but I decided to go ahead and do one of these like classic cami kind of things that you can either dress up with a blazer or like wear for like going out for drinks. I'm, I'm trying to be versatile here. So I ended up picking this. It is a cute scallop detail, so it has a little bit of something. And then it's just this racer back, which is really annoying to find a bra with but I'll deal with it. And then it has adjustable straps so you can like adjust your cleavage level, I guess, if you want. This has worked out really nicely. I've worn it tucked into some of the pieces I'm gonna show you later. And I've also worn it out with jeans underneath and both times it looked really nice. Next is my attempt at a casual wardrobe. How else would I do this? By a I Heart Avocado shirt. This is my love. Old English Company is a stationery brand which I love and they made letter clothing which is basically some of their prints but on t-shirts and sweatshirts and awesomeness. And I decided to start out my collection of casualness with a heart avocado shirt because that's who I am and it's great. <laughs> Moving on to bottoms, I ended up buying three skirts all from J. Crew Factory and I went in there originally to get this olive skirt that I'm just like, it'll go with everything. It'll be black, it'll be brown, it'll be awesome. And the two J. Crew factories, neither of them had my size, and I was too lazy to order online. <laughs> so I bought it in black, and it is this plain high-waisted with a scrunchy belt, and then it does have pockets. I opened them up at work the other day, and it was a great 20 minutes of me trying to gain pockets. It is a mini skirt, so it is a little short for me, but it still is okay because it gives me enough coverage that I feel like it's not a bad thing. With that, in the sales section was the same style, but in this pattern. And if you can't tell, I love pattern things. This is kind of like a diagonal diamond stripe with little circles in the middle. Again, the pockets, and it's really cute. The only thing is that this one is dry clean, which kind of annoys me, but that's okay. The last skirt is possibly my fit, and it was the most impulse buy of them all, but it feels so nice. I'm currently petting it. 
I have issues. It is this blue and white striped skirt with again an elastic band but at the top in the front it's an elastic pleating so it looks kind of like a cool elastic band but this goes down to your knees and the fabric on this is just amazing. Oh it has pockets. I forgot that it has pockets. Again pockets. Pockets on skirts are a winner for me. I feel like I have more pockets on skirts than what I do on any other form of bottoms besides like jeans but my pockets on my skirts are bigger than my pockets on my jeans yeah moral story get skirts pockets because they're huge and can fit your phone this is just a really nice silky material i tried this on and my friend who's with me is like you're buying that and i'm like okay i guess i can do that i am so happy i got this it is beautiful and it makes me feel really nice whenever i'm in it and this is one of those pieces where i'm pretty sure i'm gonna wear this for years because it's just it's absolutely beautiful. Moving out of clothes, I have just a couple accessories to show you. First is a pair of shoes. I wear my shoes absolutely ragged, like holes in the bottom of them. I think I've shown this issue before. So I got new shoes and these are from J.Crew Factory. They have really good soles on their shoes, which is 100% recommend any of their shoes to you. They're comfortable, they're great. And I got these ballet flats in this nudie pink so versatile i have worn them i think all week actually these are just they're absolutely golden and i'm so smitten with these and then the last two things are some earrings i've been in love with ear jackets i also love my ear crawlers which is just okay i only own this one ear crawler but i absolutely love them and they came out with some new ear jackets so i had to get them first one is this pair which is kind of like a rose goldy kind of gem it has a bigger stud than normal with a smaller jacket portion of it it looks kind of out of proportion but in a cool way i'm kind of thinking i'm going to be wearing these for my friend's wedding which i'm in because her colors are navy and rose gold and so i thought this would look cute with my navy dress i'm wearing the other jacket is again not casual and i don't care because it makes me feel good it is this really cute leaf sort of pattern it has a huge jacket on the bottom which Normally I think it would be maybe kind of weird, but it's almost like having a dangly earring without having a dangly earring. They just look so nice. They feel earthy, but not. They spruce up most of my outfits, and as you can tell, I wear a lot of plain or patterned, and just having something like these jackets, or really any of my ear jackets or my crawlers, it makes me feel like I elevate my outfits. Maybe this is why I don't have a casual wardrobe. Maybe it's because I don't have casual earrings. It's not the wardrobe, it's the earrings. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me down below if you've refreshed your wardrobe, what you've been liking, what's the new fads going on. I heard Seersucker is coming back and that's kind of making me happy so far. Yeah, definitely ruffles, definitely ear jackets. They're, they're my thing right now. Subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, 1950s on the beach and like the little beach huts since I'm a working professional.